Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever seen that TV show back in the day called Home Improvement? You know the one where he had the neighbor where he would only ever see half of his face anytime he was talking to the main character? Well, today I actually feel like him, but not because I have an ugly white picket fence in my backyard. No, I don't have that. But what I do have in front of me is a wall of technology. I have two computers to unbox and review for you guys. In fact, I am going to upload the unboxing of both of these computers today. In this video, we are going to unbox this System76 Galago Pro 2019 with Core Boot. And then in another video, which is also coming out today, I am going to unbox this System76 Thelio desktop. So this is awesome. Two computers to unbox and review. I am going to be very busy, but this is going to be awesome. So what do you say we get this laptop out of its box and check it out? Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here's the box. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop. I'm really excited. But first of all, there is a warning on the box. Right here, it says, do not employ sharp objects seriously. And you know, they just don't want you to damage your computer or scratch it or anything like that. Totally get it. I don't even have a knife or anything sharp like that, but I do have a shark tooth. Don't judge. I have this shark tooth right here and I'm going to open this System76 package with a shark tooth. Bet you haven't seen that on an unboxing video before. Anyway, let's go ahead and do it. So um, you can't barely see it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, slice open the tape here. And the same thing on this side here. Should be just about there now. All right, here we go. So I am a little constrained for space right now, so I'm gonna to try to do this and not bump anything. But here is the laptop itself. And um, as you can see, you know, they really don't want you to damage it because, you know, their laptops are beautiful. But, um, you know, I'll show you this in a minute, but more about the box. Also, we have the AC adapter, which I'll get to in just a moment. And the box, I mean, the artwork on the box is amazing. If you haven't already seen this before, I mean, it's just a very beautiful box. I don't know what else to say. And you can look at the top flap right here, so if I can get that into focus. I mean, the box is just amazing. So we have this neat little reusable package right here. I love this. And basically you have this um, plastic wrap. I'm really sorry I'm having trouble getting it into focus here. That's really tight around the laptop itself. And if you flip it over, you have these two little flaps that you basically just, you know, move to the sides. And that effectively loosens the plastic here on the top. So what I'm gonna do is then Take out the machine, let's check it out. So here's the machine, we'll get to that in just a moment. Then also in the box we get this right here. Little envelope from System76, what's inside. Have a little cool uh, desktop sentinel right here. And if I take him out, and bend the little flaps. He's able to basically stand on his own. Also inside the envelope, we have a little card right here. And on the other side, we have some helpful information, which is really cool. Tells you how to get in touch with them if you need any assistance, things like that. Then also we have Lots of stickers. I mean, I love these things. I have a bunch of these. I'm, I put these stickers on everything. Um, Cause I get to keep these, you know, I have to send the laptop back, but I get to keep the stickers. So that's a really awesome perk of being able to review the laptops. I have a big collection of these stickers, which is awesome. So you get stickers with the computer as well. 
And then here we have, of course, the AC adapter, which I just uh, gave you a glimpse of. And we have pretty much the same idea or similar idea. It, it's just a really tight plastic wrap that goes around it that is stretched over these flaps. And of course, you know, you just do the same thing. You just make sure these flaps are straight. You could just bend it over like this. Same with this one in the back. And then that allows you to get the AC adapter out of there. Be showing this off in more detail shortly, but you know we have the uh, barrel connector for the uh, power for the computer right here. And I'll put this in the palm of my hand so you can see the size of the um, brick right here is really small for this computer. Um, you know, it's very lightweight and uh, you know, it's not going to take up a lot of space. It's not going to be heavy. You're not going to even feel it in your bag. So that's awesome. That's the actual power cord right here that um, obviously just we have this little three pronged connection right here. We simply just attach it as so. And then we have the uh, AC adapter right here that'll power our computer. So, you know, very basic, but I like that it's very small and light and uh, pretty much stays out of the way. It doesn't feel heavy in the bag, like I mentioned. It's a pretty cool adapter there. And what else do we have here? So also in the little baggie, we have a SD card slot protector. So you basically just put that in the SD card slot, which I'll show in a moment. We have like a little cloth we can use to wipe our screen, which is also pretty cool. And we do get these little extra parts here, which I've never had a need for, but you know, it, they give them to you. So, you know, that you have them if you actually do find yourself needing these in the future. I'll put all this aside for now. And let's check out the actual computer itself. I'm gonna to try to hold this up to the camera. It has the plastic protective wrap on it right now. But, um, you know, this is a System76 Galgo Pro, like I mentioned. I have one of my own, a previous generation. So I do know what to expect, but I do feel like the finish and everything about it just looks very professional. I love the rubber feet that stretch most of the entire width of the laptop on both sides, the front and the back. And let me tell you, the Galago Pro does not slip very easily at all. And that's awesome uh, because you definitely don't want a laptop like this sliding right off your table and onto your floor. Not a good day for sure. So let's go ahead and open the lid. And I, I guess I just ripped this, but we have this over the palm rest, this little protective thing right there. And you can kind of see we have the protective plastic actually goes right over the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And the SD card slot, I don't want to forget to put that in. I'm just simply going to put that in the slot. Actually, preferably put it in the right way. And there we go. We have that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my HDMI cable right here so I can see if I can capture the first boot experience. And it's actually on this side over here. We have the HDMI port, so I'll plug that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing on and hopefully it'll actually capture on the screen recorder. We're about to find out. Just in case it doesn't, I'm going to just bend the screen back. It doesn't bend back very far, so if nothing else, I can actually just uh, zoom in on the screen. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to press the power button, which is right here by my finger, and you have to hold it in for a few seconds. Actually, it's probably just a half a second, but it feels like a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold it for a half a second, and let's see what happens. We have the System76 boot logo that came up. So here we are. The screen recorder did activate. So again, I am recording directly off the HDMI cord right here. And it did not record the boot splash, but you know, at least it is capturing this part right here. And now you can actually see what it looks like when you actually power a System76 laptop on for the very first time. So let's go ahead and go through this little wizard right here and set up the new computer. 
So here I'm just going to select the default for English and also for the country, keyboard layout. And again, I'm just choosing defaults here for now. And at this screen right here, we get an option to encrypt our hard drive. Now it's the default option. So if I choose choose password right here, it's going to prompt me to actually enter my password. And then that's going to effectively encrypt the drive. So I'll go ahead and choose a password. I'll just choose something simple for the sake of this review, but I hope that yours is better than mine. And then I'll set the password. And now it's actually installing the operating system. So think about that for a minute. The operating system is not installed because if it was, you couldn't encrypt it because they would have to pre-encrypt it. So they actually have the installation media basically on the hard drive that it can install the entire operating system from that partition. And look at how fast this is actually going. I'm not editing this part of the video. You're seeing this in real time, and it's actually going ahead and setting up the entire computer, even installing the operating system. So I'm going to have an encrypted installation from the very beginning. And that's great because, you know, in the past, I've had to actually remove the operating system and reinstall, and this is true with all computers, to manually set that up. But with this, I don't have to. It's doing everything for me. And there we go, the operating system, the distribution is installed. Again, this is Pop! OS 1910, like you can see up here. And that was a very fast install. I didn't time it, but it was what, one minute, two minutes or less, uh, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it. So now you see the password prompt here for on encrypting the hard drive, so I'll put that in. Easy enough. So right here, what you see is the welcome screen that comes up when the installed distribution starts for the very first time. So I'll just go through this and show you what that looks like. So again, I'm just choosing the defaults, but it's basically asking you for language and um, your keyboard layout and things like that. Now it's giving me an option to connect to Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go ahead and click on mine. And there it is, it's connected. I'll click next. I'm going to leave that as the default right there for the privacy settings. Time zone, I'm going to go ahead and click on Michigan because that's where I am. And I'm going to skip this part because I don't have any online accounts to use, but if you do, you can, of course, choose any of these services that you may have subscribed to. I'm going to skip it. And then now I go ahead and put in my user info. Set a password. And then right here, I'm ready to go. It says start using Pop! OS, so let's go ahead and do that. And to activate the screen recorder, I can just hold function and press F7 to choose my display because it's, it's technically a display anyway. So I'll mirror the screen. And there we go, now you can see the screen. So with any operating system or Linux distribution, the first thing we should always do is install the update. So I'll show you that process, what that looks like. I'll click on activities and I'll go to pop shop. Basically want to make sure we're starting with the latest versions of everything before we make ourselves at home. You can see it's refreshing right here. We see the spinning circle. Now in our case, it appears that we don't have any updates actually. We're already up to date, but if you did have some updates, they would actually appear on this list right here and you would get an option to install those. Another thing I'll show you right here is if I go to settings,
We can check the details of the system that I'm reviewing. We have 64 gigabytes of RAM. We have an Intel Core i7 1051OU CPU, Intel UHD graphics, and we have a 250 gigabyte disk. So there you go. That was my unboxing of the 2019 System76 Galago Pro with Core Boot. I am going to use this laptop for about a week or so, and then I will come back with a full review. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you as soon as that video is uploaded. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you want to help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.